so this is Overload. I'm sure people have lots of questions about what this is. So this just came out on Steam today. Uh, this is a game I've played before, just to clarify my relation to this game. Um, I played this while I was still in development, because I actually streamed this uh, when I worked at Volition. I streamed this uh, like two years ago? Three years ago? I don't remember anymore. Um, basically, if you like Descent, if you like the Descent series, uh, you will like this because it's more of that. Uh, this is made by Revival Productions, which is like a, a new indie studio. And hey, it's comprised by people who use the word Volition. Uh, specifically, it's like people who worked on Descent. And they don't have the... Volition doesn't have the IP rights to that anymore. They don't. Somebody else is making Descent games right now. I can't remember if it's like in early access or if it's already out. But from what I've seen, it's like kind of changed up the formula a little bit. While this is just like more of what Descent is. So, yeah, they get, just gave me a key for this. Um, and like I said, I played a little bit of this before, but it was just like the really early version. And it was just like the, the challenge mode, I think. Um, but this, it's, it's pretty nice. It's 30 bucks on Steam right now. Um, so we'll, we'll like look at some of the single player first. It has single player, multiplayer, and a, a challenge mode. Um, I'm playing on Rookie right now because I'm not... I feel like I'm not great at this game yet. Like the... It, I mean, single player hasn't been too tough, but like when I jumped into multiplayer earlier, I got killed a lot. We are now in position above the moon of Phoebe. 13 million kilometers from Saturn. Kronos Frontier operates two bases here to oversee the exploration and development of the outer moons. We'll begin with the processing plant and refinery. Cantor sent the following message to all colonists on 823. The transmission occurred 13 And if you're listening to the music and it might sound a little familiar too, uh, in July of the music in this game is composed by three different guys, and they are all guys who have composed music for Descent. <laughs> so if it just sounds like Descent music, it's because it is. If I remember correctly, uh, the person who did the writing for this game also wrote the story for Free Space 2, uh, which was also another Volition IP. I know lots of people like Free Space, and there is never a Free Space 3. Oh, yeah, uh, for people who didn't know, yeah, uh... Before Volition was Volition, uh, there was Parallax Software, and, like, that became Volition, essentially. Yeah. Like, a lot of the, uh, there were still, like, Parallax employees when I was working there, and, like, yeah, they moved on to make their own, own little indie studio and make this. Uh. So, yeah, if you've never played Descent, uh, it's like a, it's a, a first-person shooter where you are in a spaceship. And you have six degrees of freedom of movement, I think is the, the terminology they use. Uh, so it's basically up, down, left, right, and roll, pitch, and yaw as well. Um, I know like lots of people back in the day played Descent with flight sticks, uh, but this game actually has really nice controls for just like a gamepad, so you don't have to worry about having a flight stick. Um, and yeah, some people are wondering, like, oh god, am I going to get sick watching this? I mean, everyone has different to uh, different tolerance for motion sickness. Um, also, I need to upgrade this stuff. That is one difference. I don't think you could upgrade anything in any of the Descent games, and you can you can do that here. Um... I do like the missile pod. Okay. Um... 
but there's there's lots of nice things uh that you can like toggle on and off in the options that kind of like deal with the way your ship moves so you know it's very it's super smooth you know you can move around you can go up and down um It's really smooth. I can see people not getting as motion sick in this game just because of how smooth it is. Um, and for pitch on the controller, like when you push the button, you don't move a little bit. You move in 90 degrees, but it's got a lot of smoothing to it. So... Although don't take my word for it, you know. I know that people are far more sensitive to this type of stuff, and I only one video game ever has made me a little motion sick. Um, this game also has VR support. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, VR headsets or anything, so I can't show that stuff off. From what I've heard from other people who have played this and reviewed this, the, the VR stuff is actually pretty nice. Um... I am behind in the VR stuff. I haven't really touched any of that stuff yet. But yeah, you're still going through like mine shafts and stuff like in Descent. Uh, you're going to all these different moons. Uh, in Descent, you had to like rescue uh, uh, mine workers and you would just like, they were just like in the levels and you would just pick them up and you get, get get in your ship. Uh, it's slightly different, but you're still rescuing people, but they're in, like, cryostasis pods. Um, and that's one of the ways you get, like, upgrade points. Uh, is by finding those pods in the levels and, and rescuing them. There's also just upgrade points, like, hidden in the levels, just as, like, collectibles. Is someone behind me? Okay, no. Um, it's kind of funny playing this, though. The, uh... Because when I worked at Volition, like, when I would do uh, the tutorial videos and, and I made some of the cinematics, too, for... The, the cinematics that introduced enemies in Ages of Mayhem, I was the person who made those. Uh, and I used the our capture tools in the game engine for that. Uh, and the code for the, the capture camera in Volition's engine... Uh, was based off, like, the flight code used for moving around in in Descent. Uh, although I know it was, like, not, like, the actual code after a certain point. It was, like, remade, but... Uh, so playing this is really weird because it feels like I'm just capturing cinematic stuff in the game I worked on. Uh, the controls are different. Because, you know, the, ca the capture controls didn't have to... There was no combat when I was capturing shit, so... Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, the the objectives have been like what you've seen in Descent games before, where it's either you're just taking out all the enemies, or you have to reach like the uh, the the like power core or generator of the level, and and destroy it and overload it, and then you have a timer to escape the level before like the whole level explodes. Um, and you're you're kind of finding key cards to get access to other parts of levels and stuff. It it's very much like a '90s style. Uh, FPS. So if you've been missing out on that type of like campaign, then then this is probably what you want. There's a bunch of different sub weapons I should be using. This is the missile pod I upgraded. What else do I have? I have hunter, seeking missiles, and creeper, which are like these mines. Okay, they do home in a bit. I was curious about that. I hadn't really used these much yet. Except for multiplayer, but I'd always die before I got to see, like, what they did. This is the first level that's actually, like, messing me up a little bit, too. This is the fourth level? I think the campaign is 15 missions long? 
Um, also, there's a map editor coming at some point down the line. I don't think they have like a date for when that stuff is gonna uh, when that stuff's gonna launch. But whoop, there's a button. Also, it has like the same style map Descent did too, with this auto map thing. Oh my god, this little's big. Although, like, when I've played games like this in the past, I get lost a decent amount, because, like, you know, <laughs> 90s FPS design is, uh, you know, kind of big maze like sort of levels. Um, I think there is. Yeah, there is a guy that can just, like, tell you where to go, though, so that's handy. Hey. Should pick that shit up. Oh shit. Also, yeah, the en enemy types are pretty similar from my small amount of experience with Descent. But yeah, they have, like, uh, the claw dudes that kind of rush you and just kind of chomp on you. Unlock the door somewhere. I wonder where that is. There's something behind here? Is that shit at least? And also, there's like hidden levels and shit uh, in here. I've only found one so far, but like games of this era, like, it gives you a tally like how many secret areas you've found and stuff afterwards. I've only found a couple so far, but um, yeah, there are just, like, hidden entire levels uh, in these and they're so far they've been a little bit harder because uh, they've been, like, more specific like, challenge levels where it's, like, kill X amount of enemies in a certain amount of time and all that type of stuff. And they put, like, pump out a ton of enemies all at once, too. It wasn't, like, in waves, really. Oh, right, one of these things. Spawning dudes. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Don't even really know what that thing is. But yeah, somebody made the comparison of like, oh, like the, uh, in the chat, somebody said it's like, kind of like the, the channel, uh, the hidden missions in Devil May Cry. Yeah, it's basically like that. I don't know how varied, like, the objectives get or anything, but, uh... Also, I think you could still fire flares like you could in Descent. Yeah, there's a flare. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty simple stuff, but it just feels like really good. Like, 
I can't really comment on how accurate it is to like the other the Descent games because I'm not like a I don't know too much about them like experience wise, but like just judging like the flight model on its own and stuff, it feels extremely good. Okay, level two. Oh shit. Did he go? In? Okay, he went inside there. Didn't know they could go in there. Uh, so yeah, you have armor and you have energy. Um, these areas kind of like recharge you back up to 100, but you can have more than that. Uh, ooh, can I shoot that through the cage? Okay, that's what I thought. Unless I have like... Um, maybe a driller can like shoot through these bars. Yeah. Um, so like, there we go. Yeah, that's an upgrade point. Um, yeah, there's also, on top of like the sub weapons, I've been firing like the different types of missiles. There's also just different main guns, um, like these, uh, Cyclone, got yeah, Reflex, the Driller, which is kind of like a sniper one-shot thing, and Flak, which is what I've been using for a bit. Kind of short range, but it's nice. Um, but yeah, you have Armor, which is just your health. Uh, you have Energy, and everything you do costs a certain amount of energy, which is why you need to uh, recharge it. Even just firing like your normal guns has a, a small energy cost to it. Um... I'm gonna go back in here real quick. This is the first time I'm actually, like, running out of energy a decent amount, too. I'm curious how, like... This is on Rookie, so the second easiest difficulty is to just the one it defaults to. But there's two more difficulty modes, at least for single player. But I think there might even be more. There's at least more difficulty modes for the challenge mode because, like, there's an, an experience system where, like, after you do get enough experience, you can unlock harder difficulty modes and stuff like that. I actually just had to like shut up and pay a little bit of attention to here. Is there like a fabricator nearby or something that's just pumping these guys out? Yep, there is. Also, I figure this, with all the easing and stuff, it's probably a little bit less likely that people will get, like, motion sick 
playing this. Also, you know, especially because you have like this giant, well, not giant, but uh, you have a decent amount of HUD in the middle of the screen to kind of keep your eyes focused on. And I know that like having like a reticle or something the center to focus on is makes it uh, easier to not get motion sick when camera movements otherwise might do that to you. Man, I still haven't found any of the cryo dudes yet. Hmm. I wonder where they could be. Uh, Obsidian, yeah, there is a... There is a plot. Um, it's not, like, super heavy or anything. Uh, you're a person that's just been sent to all, like, these... Uh, mining places uh on these moons near saturn i think um and you're there to like destroy all the like automated robots there because they've been hijacked and they're uh terrorizing the employees who are all in like cryo sleep trying to stay safe and yeah there seems to be some type of like mega corp uh thing going on where uh uh one of the heads of the the mining operation out here is like going out of control because he he feels slighted by like management or something uh yoka talking about how this seems like a, a roguelike ish type of game from how the map's set up uh it actually isn't uh it's very uh like i remember there is some type of other descent game that came out a few years ago um, but yeah, it was far more of like a roguelike, and every time you blew up a ship, you would like pick up their parts, and you had to like manage crafting stuff and all that, which seems like it would be a little bit at odds with the style of game Descent is, but, you know, who takes and all that. Um, but no, yeah, it's very, like, these are very specifically designed levels. Uh, there's no random elements to them from what I know. Shit, just pulled my shoulder in a weird way. Ugh. Stream injuries. Hmm. Just trying to think where... Okay, there's a door down there. You can also set markers on the map, uh, which is handy. Um... Maybe we should go down there, because there's an unlocked door there, and I would like to find the people in the cryotubes. Um, okay, I'm full on that now. I would like to find the people in the cryotubes, because it gets me more upgrade points, and the last level I played, uh, I kind of didn't find them, and so when I blew up the level, like, they all died. <laughs> like, it just tells you why you're leaving, like, whoop! Okay, so that door would be down here. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Gotta get out of here. Also, yeah, one of the things I've liked about the game the most so far is just the music, because it still feels very much in the, the style um, that a lot of stuff... Well, not a lot of stuff, but that some 90s FPS thing specifically had, where it's... I don't know, it just feels a little nostalgic. Can't even really, like, pinpoint what game I'm thinking of, because I never really played Descent as a kid. Okay, um, hmm, if I can go down somehow. Okay. More upgrade points.
Hmm. I really need some energy all of a sudden. Whoops. Is there any energy around? That would be really nice. I'm down to 11. Oh boy. This is a bad place to be. Hmm. Well, there's energy over there. Right, I wanted to get that shit. <laughs> So I'm not sure actually what happens when you run out of energy, if you like just like blow up or what, but... Okay, good. Here we go. Oh, invulnerability. That's nice. Well, here's the reactor. I still haven't found the cryo tubes yet, but uh... We might as well just shoot this. Well, those people are dead. I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. Also, I'm, yeah, I'm sure some of the other weapons I use could uh, would be more energy efficient. That's why I was using the um, missile pod things, because I believe the uh, upgrade I had made them a little bit uh, take little, a little bit less energy for a shot. Well, I found some secrets. No cryo tubes, though. I like this timeline they give for like your stats and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what the single player's like. Um, I guess we'll show off a little bit of every mode here. Um, what map? Hmm. I do like the flak. Then... Hmm. Maybe the creepers. Yeah, so these things are just like... Take out as many enemies as possible before you die. Um, man, flak is really nice. I believe this is what, like, the, uh, thing I, I streamed forever ago, a couple years ago. Um, I think this is the challenge mode I streamed. It wasn't the same map, for sure. Um, but I think this is the main thing I played. Not entirely sure it's been so long. Oh, also, I completely forgot to mention, uh, if you are curious about this, uh, like I said, it's 30 bucks on Steam, but also there's a demo, um, I think you can try that out first. Uh, I don't think there'd really be any issue running this game on most computers, because, like, it... It seems like it runs pretty well, like, this, I've had no issues running this. And it seems scalable enough that even, like, crummier com or older computers can run it, too. Hmm. 
Ugh. Man, low on energy again. I gotta be careful with this shit. Are there any more energy pickups anywhere? Hmm. Oh, there's one. It's interesting because this map, uh, I played challenge mode earlier on a different map and that one was far more difficult. Um, maybe it was just because it was smaller? I think it was kind of a smaller map too and it was, uh, so the enemies had less room to be spread out or something. Flat gun is really satisfying also. <laughs> or not flak, this is the crusher actually. The flak is the uh the other one. The other like short kinda of short range one? The one I was using earlier. Eh. Man, I could just go all day in this one. Okay, now they're dumping a bunch of dudes on me all at once, I think. Oh, invisible guys! Whoa! Didn't know they were here. Okay, I think, honestly, I could probably keep going for a very long time. <laughs> I thought I would blow it way earlier. Um, but yeah, that's challenge mode. Uh, it's... That was the infinite version. Um, but there are some other versions, too, I think. I think one's, like, on a timer. Um, uh, to answer... Callfish Man's question. Uh, the levels are handcrafted. I don't think there's any randomly generated stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll check out multiplayer really quick too. I'm not sure how many people will be playing, uh, considering this is the, the first day. Alright, time to get my ass, like, eviscerated over and over and over again. Oh, wow. Look at those fancy moves he's got there.
fucking shit. Uh, this is the story of my life when it comes to any type of competitive multiplayer thing, especially if it's first-person shooters. Um, I will get annihilated. I just don't play them enough, like, in a competitive sense to, like, ever be good at this part. Um, like, if I... I will get some kills, but a lot of the time it's like I have to depend on other people whittling down my targets so that I can just swoop in and go like, oh, this person's at half health or quarter health? I might have a chance. Fuck. <laughs> right, you gotta try cord. I forget <laughs> exactly what that technique is. Uh, but I remember hearing that it was like a thing, like the people who are really into descent were able to do. It, it was just some type of like movement based technique that would let you go real fast or something, right? Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Yep. Rad. Maybe I'll try the driller. Try courting as you slide up and down and left and right and yaw roll all at the same time. Okay. Whoa, shit! Get back here, varmint. I'm just not very good at leading shots with human targets. Like, I can do it pretty easily when it's, like, single player, but... Human people are so much harder for me to, to deal with. Human people. <sighs> yeah, look, there's one guy in the top who, like, he knows this shit already. He's played. Fuck! <laughs> Fucking shit! Ah, fuck. Is it the guy who's... is it... am I being hounded by the guy? Yeah, I'm being hounded by the guy who's, like, the actually good one. This is the other thing that happens. Uh... When I play... when I play multiplayer games. Even if it's not, like, the best player in the match. Uh, for some reason, very frequently, whenever I die, it's... I'm repeatedly being killed by the same player <laughs> over and over again. There's a reason why I only LP single player stuff, everybody. I'm bad at multiplayer, like, shit. Hmm. Fuck me! At the bottom. Although I guess, hey, I'm tied with everybody else. It's just one guy who's destroying literally everyone else. Oh, wait, it's, it's changing a bit here. That guy's already blown up. Don't touch the lava. Ah, just a little bit too far away, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Granted, I also did pick the game mode that's just, like, everybody for themselves, and it doesn't matter what your rank is either, so... I'm kind of asking for it, maybe. Shit. Man, 
Uh, well, not the very bottom. And I can also feel good that I don't have a ping over 200. Look at my ping. It's not that bad. That's where I put all my effort into. Uh, person asked me what I want out of Metroid Prime 4. I mean, I'm also okay with it just playing like the other Metroid Primes, but it would be cool to see some type of, some type of new, uh, imagining of what Metroid can play like. Um, it doesn't be, need to be like open world or anything, but just seeing how like Zelda went from, you know, the Zelda formula to Breath of the Wild, it would be nice to see Nintendo try and do something like that with Metroid. But also, if it's just another really good Metroid Prime, that's fine, too. Head-to-head -head is one-on-one, -on -one, huh? Hmm. We'll do one more of these. Also, yeah, people talk in the chat about speedruns for Descent 2. I've heard they're really crazy. I think I remember watching a little bit of one for a Games Done Quick a year or two ago, but, uh... Yeah, we'll stay with that. Ah, great. There's a guy behind me. <laughs> well... Son of a bee. Oof. Hooray. <laughs> Me, the guy who just shoots other people while they're shooting other people. Fart. Man, I am not good at aiming with the driller. He just rammed into me. Uh, no, from... I mean, from what I've seen so far from playing multiplayer stuff, there have been no reactors, like uh, apparently Descent 2 had. Uh, I haven't seen any of that. Nobody blowing up the map. Oh, get away from me. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't help that I just run face first into people a lot. Let's go with Cyclone instead. There we go. Oh, just an assist, though, but whatever. kind of figuring out the arc on that thing with strafing a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Damn, this guy's getting every shot on me. Jesus. Lucky. some type of dash move where you could ram into people? I swear to God there was. Oof! Well, second place. Not that bad. Oh, yep, second place. Not that bad. But yeah, that's Overload. Uh, I like it. It feels really good to play. It's just like a real simple, like... You just go in and you're playing the game right away style thing. Um, and you don't see a lot of 90s style shooters. At least not that many that I think are like pretty successful at pulling off that feeling. Uh, I think Overload does it pretty well. Um, but yeah, it just came out on Steam today. So if you're interested... Uh, I mean, there's also a demo to try out first. But yeah, that's Overload. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, go on and check it out if uh, if you like. Um, I think I might stream a little bit of something else after this as well. I'm not sure what, though. But uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. 